Vacation Alert Bahamas Some of the nicest sites in the Bahamas are lesser known. Obviously, the greatest location to visit in the Bahamas and some of the top Bahamas attractions are incredibly lovely and must be visited. Nevertheless, you should also be aware of the best spots in the Bahamas that are often overlooked. It is still possible to find oneself alone on an isolated island in the Bahamas, either on magnificent beaches or surrounded by breathtaking scenery and fauna. The gorgeous Bahamas is more than simply a resort getaway. It has wild iguanas, swimming pigs, and underwater marine species you've never seen before. Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. Today, we are going to talk about Bahamas. Before we get started with the video, don't forget to smash the like button, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get started. Number 10. El Bouquet El Bouquet in the Abacos radiates the charm of a New England-style fishing community. It is located just across the sheltered sea of Abaco from the boating mecca of Marsh Harbor. The major streets of Hope Town, the island's largest settlement, are lined with colorful cottages, and the heart of town is car-free, giving it a relaxing village vibe. Hope Municipality, known for its candy-striped lighthouse, is home to a vibrant expatriate community who enjoy the island's beautiful palm-lined beaches. Closeness to Marsh Harbor, the country's third largest municipality, and good boating options. Number 9. Lucayan National Park on Grand Bahama Island There is nothing quite like Lucayan National Park on Grand Bahama Island, one of the island's three national parks. Its lush 40-acre grounds are best renowned for housing the world's longest charted underwater cave systems. More than six kilometers of tunnels can be found here. While one is not open to the public, both Ben's Cave and Burial Mound Cave are accessible via wooden platforms and pathways. Swimming is not allowed here. However, diving is occasionally authorized with a permit. Burial Mound Cave contains the bones of the Lucayans, the island's original settlers. Both caves are home to numerous cave dwellers, including bats. Number 8. Treasure Cay Beach, Great Abaco Island Treasure Cay Beach, which skirts the eastern side of Great Abaco, is widely regarded as one of the world's most beautiful beaches. This magnificent stretch of flower-soft sand and blue water captivates visitors who come to bask on its creamy, crescent-shaped beach. The beach is located in the premium resort enclave of Treasure Cay, which holds one of the most popular fishing tournaments in the Bahamas. Number 7. Diving and Fishing on Andros Island Andros, the Bahamas' largest landmass, is a popular fishing and diving destination. The island is home to the world's third biggest barrier reef, as well as several freshwater blue holes and underwater caverns, creating an underwater wonderland for those who enjoy exploring under the waves. Make sure to bring or rent snorkel equipment to see this site up close. Fly fishing is very popular here. Androst is widely referred to as the world's bona fishing capital, owing to its optimal environments for this treasured harvest. The island's huge marshes form waterways that are excellent fishing and boating spots. Number 6. Grand Bahamas Island Grand Bahama Island, the northernmost of the Bahamas Islands, is a popular destination for cruise ships and package visitors alike. The Bahamas capital, Freeport, is the country's second largest city, but Port Lucaya has taken its place as the tourist destination for activities such as shopping, dining, and entertainment. Port Lucaya Marketplace provides jewelry, straw items, and other handicrafts, while the harbor is a popular gathering area for tourists and boaters. Despite the island's extensive all-inclusive resorts and hotels, it is still easy to avoid the crowd. Grand Bahama boasts one of the world's longest underwater cave systems. Number 5. Eleuthera Island Eleuthera, located within a five-minute ferry trip from Harbor Island, is a wild natural beauty. Although the first Bahamian parliament was located in Rock Sound on the island, Eleuthera, which is 100 miles long, is now a peaceful region with little visitor activity. You'll want to see the glass window bridge. It is a natural arch bridge with a tiny gap that forms a window, hence its name. 
It provides views of the deep blue Atlantic Ocean on one side and the turquoise Caribbean Sea on the other. The color contrast is stunning. Visit Queen's Bath, about a mile south of the Glass Window Bridge, at low tide. When the tide is out, the pools are wonderfully warm and just deep enough to soak in. Number 4. Harper Island Pretty Harbor Island, located northeast of its larger sister, Eleuthera, has long been a popular retreat for the wealthy and famous. Locals refer to it as Brilland, and it is one of the oldest communities in the Bahamas, as well as the site of the first Bahamian parliament. English loyalists arrived here in the 1700s, and their adorable pastel-hued homes recreate a bygone period in Dunmore Town, the island's sole population where golf carts control the small streets. However, Harbor Island has more than just charming houses and a rich history. Its stunning pink sand beaches are among the most beautiful in the Caribbean, and its upscale resorts attract discerning visitors from all over the world. Number 3. Exuma Cays Land and Sea Park Exuma Cays Land and Sea Park boasts some of the most stunning seascapes in the Bahamas. Luminous water in electric blue blends with bone white sand, giving a stunning setting for a variety of water activities. The park, located on the Bahamas' isolated eastern coast, is the Caribbean's first no-take zone and marine protected area. Divers and boaters enjoy the area's great anchorages, abundance of marine life, and crystal clear waters. On a good day, divers and snorkelers can enjoy visibility of more than 30 meters. Most people come to this underwater site on private boats or live aboard dive tours. Fishing and shelling are not permitted within the park's limits. The Exuma Cays are equally stunning. Some are home to Hollywood stars like Johnny Depp and David Copperfield, while others are home to luxury resorts. Number 2. Nassau Nassau, Bahamas one of the Caribbean's most popular cruise ship ports, continues to entice visitors despite the swarms of camera-toting tourists. When it comes to things to do in Nassau, you have lots of possibilities. Relax on Cable Beach's white sands, visit the shops, restaurants, museums, and candy-colored colonial buildings of downtown and Bay Street, and shop for souvenirs at the Nassau Straw Market. It is worthwhile to ascend the 66 steps known as the Queen's Staircase to the top of Fort Fincastle. From the top, you will be surrounded by thick tropical flora and have some of the best views of Nassau and the brilliant blue sea below. The staircase, allegedly erected on Queen Victoria's orders in the late 1800s, is carved from solid limestone. Today, it is a historic landmark and one of the city's most popular tourist attractions. On a short catamaran journey from Nassau, animal enthusiasts can interact with dolphins on a day trip to Blue Lagoon Island and Artistra Gardens Zoo. Number 1. Atlantis Paradise Island This splashy, salmon pink resort dominates the skyline on Paradise Island, evoking the mythology of Atlantis with a luxury hotel, entertainment complex, aquarium, and water park. It's one of the best resorts in the Bahamas. Guests at the hotel have free admission to the popular 141-acre Aquaventure. Spending the day at this whimsical waterscape is one of the most popular things to do on Paradise Island. Whiz down high-speed slides like the Leap of Faith, splash about in over 20 swimming areas, or sit back and relax on the Lazy River Ride. Hammerhead sharks and swordfish swim across the glittering open-air pools of Atlantis Bahamas marine ecosystem. There are also numerous shops, restaurants, and entertainment options available here. The Fantasy Sea Modif runs throughout all of the Atlantic attractions, captivating the imaginations of both young and old. That's the end of the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up, and do not forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.